Well, the coronavirus pandemic has changed the way we do things, and it's got some students looking at architecture and design that takes into account the spread of disease. Michael Abeda is live in Denver with more. Michael? Kathy, any student or teacher knows that a challenge is just a new opportunity to learn. So when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, two CU students saw that as an opportunity to change the way they look at architecture and design. It was part of the studio project before this whole uh, epidemic came along. CU Denver students Jason Rezai and Ryan Greenhill were about halfway through Professor Osman Atman's architecture class when they were sent home because of COVID-19. They were already working together on a project to design a healthier building, one that will cut down on bacterial and virus transmission, when suddenly their project had new meaning. It became really uh, timely. Shortly after being sent home, Jason was chatting with people online when he was inspired to take their group design even further. I have some friends and family who are in New York who are living in mid and high rise buildings. And um, right around midterms, I was talking to some of them online and, and one guy goes, I haven't opened the front door to my apartment in 20 days. He and Ryan added features like occupancy sensor UV lights to disinfect surfaces without being harmful to humans, reduced service area for quicker disinfection, foot operated door openers, and surface products that are safe for application of disinfectant. They think that because of this pandemic, buildings may be designed like this in the future. They say Professor Atman's class project has prepared them to change architecture and design forever. This is going to be affecting architecture for years to come. It helped with like being able to transition and pivot and adapt to the situation because I think that's what we as designers are going to have to do going forward. Now Jason actually graduated with his master's yesterday. Ryan is going to be graduating soon and they both say they're ready to get out into the workforce to try to help beat this pandemic with the newly acquired skills they've gotten from CU Denver. In Denver, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first.